Hello, let's two together, starting with ties who flocked to a cannabis exhibition as interest and demand in the plant surges after allowing hemp use in food and cosmetics in the latest move to promote a new cash crop and build up businesses. Thailand's cannabis industry could be worth $682 million by 2024. The government hosted the Cannabis 360 Degrees exhibition, intended to promote the plant as a new economic engine for the country. Thailand was the first Southeast Asian nation to legalize marijuana for medical use and research in 2017. Certain parts of the plant were removed from the narcotics list in December 2020. Mount Etna in Italy lit up the night sky once again overnight with explosions. Large plumes of smoke and lava fountains erupting several kilometers high. It's Europe's tallest active volcano. Lava fountains erupted several kilometers high. Mount Etna can burst into action several times a year. The last major eruption was in 1992. Bite-sized pocket parks, transforming small unused city plots ridden with garbage and weeds, are the Greek capital's latest bid to help tackle its chronic pollution. The Greek capital is battling the heat by transforming unused city plots into bite-sized pocket parks. A lack of urban planning during a population boom has led to overheating and heavy pollution over the past several decades. Temperatures in Athens can surpass 100 degrees Fahrenheit during a heat wave. The city is planning on closing some traffic lanes and opening bike lanes and pedestrian walks. in addition to establishing more pocket parks. The three treasures sale of rare stamps and a gold coin from the personal collection of shoe designer Stuart Twitesman is set to fetch millions of dollars at an auction at Sotheby's. America's most famous gold coin goes on auction. The 1933 double eagle coin was originally cast as a $20 coin but it was never issued for use. Sotheby's estimates the coin could fetch up to $15 million. Also part of the three treasures sale are the famous British Guiana, one cent magenta stamp, and a plate block of the inverted Ginny stamp. All three items are owned by shoe designer and business person Stuart Twitesman. Vietnamese hairdresser, Lati Kim Tram, lost her left arm during a traffic accident, but the single mother has found a way to keep cutting hair to support her two children and her mother. In the first few months, I had unsatisfied customers. I knew some of them had to fix their hair somewhere else. A few still came back for me to cut their hair, some just never returned. But now, I can proudly say that once I have decided on a hairstyle that suits the shape of their face, I can cut it like this. When you calm yourself down, and look inside yourself, then look at your loved ones around you. You will find motivation to try harder. Just respect what is left of your body, then you can do it. 
If you lost right arm, you still have the left, and vice versa. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow us at Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram and subscribe our YouTube channel. Ciao.